Hi, welcome to another video in my series on indices or exponents. What we're dealing with now in this particular tutorial is division. I've got an example here where I'm going to show you how we can go about simplifying 4 to the power 5 divided by 4 cubed. And then we'll go on to look at some algebraic examples. Now, we should be familiar with the fact that 4 to the power 5 is 4 repeatedly multiplied by itself 5 times over. So we've got something like this. And we're dividing it by 4 cubed or 4 to the power 3. So we've got 4 repeatedly multiplied by itself 3 times over. Now to simplify this, because we're dealing with the same base number in this example 4, we can do some cancelling. I can see that 4 will go into this 4 here once and it will go into any of the 4's here on the bottom once. So we'll just pick that first one there. It doesn't matter which one I pick. And again I can see that I can divide top and bottom again by 4. So I can take out that 4. 4 into 4 goes once and 4 into that 4 goes once. And it doesn't stop there. I can again cancel by 4. It doesn't matter which one of these 4's I pick. Let's pick this one. Okay, 4 into 4 goes once, 4 into 4 goes once. So what do I get when I simplify this? Well I've got 1 times 1 which is 1, times 4 which is 4, times 1, still 4, times another 4. Well I know that 4 times 4 is 16 but the purpose of this exercise is to write it as a power. So I'm going to write this as 4 to the power 2 or 4 squared. We've just got the 4 times 4 on the top. When it comes to the bottom though we've got 1 times 1 times 1 which is just 1. So 4 squared divided by 1 is just simply 4 squared. So I'll leave it like that as a power. Okay, Even though I know it's 16, 4 4's being 16. Let's try an algebraic one now. Okay, Let's try say a to the power 6 divided by a squared, a to the power 2. What would this simplify to? Well, you might have worked it out already. It is in fact a to the power 4. Why? Because a to the power 6 is a repeatedly multiplied by itself 6 times over. So we've got that there. And it's divided by a squared, in other words, a times a. And I can start to cancel down. a into a goes once, a into a goes once again. Remember, a represents some number, OK? As long as it's the same number, we'll always get this cancelling going on. I can still cancel by another a. Look, we'll take that one out. a into a goes once and a into a goes once. And that's as much as I can do. So what am I left with? Well, I've got 1 times 1, which is 1, but then a times a times a times a. In other words, a to the power 4 on the top. But underneath, I've just simply got 1 times 1, which is 1. So a to the 4 divided by 1 is just simply a to the 4. So what am I trying to say with this kind of result? In each of these we're doing a division where we've got some base value, 4 in this one, a in this one, both raised to various powers. And we're going to look at, say in general, x to the power m divided by x to the power n then what we can see here is that all we need to do to these powers is to subtract them. You can see I had 4 repeated 5 times on the top, 4 repeated 3 times on the bottom. When I did the cancelling, I was just left with 2 4's on the top, the result of 5 take away 3. And similarly, when it came to this example, I had 4 A's left on the top, the result of doing 6 take away 2. So if we have x to the power m divided by x to the power n, the result is going to be x to the power m minus n. And this is a result that you do need to learn. Okay, so we'll just highlight that. Okay. 
Now you can have examples which contain numbers and letters. Let's for instance say you had to simplify 12x to the power 5 divided by say 3x cubed. What would this simplify to? Well the final answer is going to be 4x squared. I'll just show you why again. We've got on the top 12 multiplied by x to the power 5. So in other words x times x times x times x times x. 12x to the power 5 then. And this is divided by 3x cubed. 3 multiplied by the x which is cubed. x times x times x. Now in this example you can see that I've got the three x's in the denominator, three of them will cancel out with three of the five out of the five here on the top. So you could just cancel them out like this. And what you're left with is just two x's on the top. The result of subtracting your powers, five take away three, leaving me with x squared. But when it comes to numbers, we don't subtract the numbers. It's 12 divided by 3. It goes 4 times, OK? 3 into 3 goes once. 3 into 12 goes 4 times. So our final answer then is 4 times 1 times 1 times 1, which is 4, times x times x, which is 4x squared. And again, it's all divided by 1. So we just leave it as 4x squared. Now my final example is one that contains not only numbers and letters, but we're going to have a mixture of letters here. 5a squared, say, times b cubed. And this is divided by 10abc squared. So what do you think the answer to this one would be? Well, we shouldn't really now need to fully expand this, OK? If we did, we would have 5 times a times a times b times b times b, all divided by 10 times a times b times c times c. But we should be able to go straight to the answer. I can see that the 5 and the 10 will cancel. 5 goes into 5 once, 5 goes into 10 twice. And when it comes to a squared divided by a, well, that's going to be just a on the top. Remember, we just subtract the powers here, OK? 2 take away 1 just leaves me with a to the power 1, or simply a. So what we've got here, anyway, is the half, and then we've got a. Now you've got b cubed divided by b to the power 1. Again, subtracting the powers leaves me with b to the power 2, or b squared. When it comes to the c squared, there's no c's on the top here, just the c squared on the bottom. So I can put that over c squared. I don't like the look of this, though. I much prefer this as 1 times a times b squared, giving me simply a b squared. And then we're dividing this by 2 times c squared, which is 2c squared. So there we go. I hope that's given you some idea so that when you're doing questions like this, you'll be able to use these examples anyway as a model.